I remember going through my first spiritual awakening and my guides had just asked me to make a major life decision and I was so scared. I was so scared. I never felt so alone. I thought, what will I do if I make this major life decision? And my guides were like, we are asking you to jump off this cliff, this imaginary cliff that you have built and we will catch you. Do not worry about it. I was scared. How could I do this? I thought I would be throwing away my entire life. How can I do that? They were like, just trust us. You will understand the reason years later. And now I do understand why they asked me to make that major life decision. Before I reveal the reason for why I quit high school, uh, let me talk about my first spiritual awakening and let me give you guys the basic understanding of what I went through. I had just started going through my spiritual awakening and I was seeing 11, 11, 12, 12, 2, 2 and every uh, other number. I was confused. I didn't understand why I was seeing these numbers. And I was hearing voices inside my head, pictures of things happening. I didn't understand what was what was happening exactly because I had never uh, been that interested in spirituality and stuff before that. So I didn't have any type of understanding. So I was confused as to what was happening. And I think my guides understood what I, I was facing. So they slowly started initiating me into spirituality. They started giving me uh, reasons to go to places and see things and experience things for myself so that I could understand what I was going through. So I started watching videos about spirituality and spiritual awakening. And that's when I came to understand what I was going through was spiritual awakening. So I would be going through my phone or scrolling through my phone and I suddenly get information about spiritual awakening and as I see numbers like 11, 11, 12, 12. And I understood that I was going through a spiritual awakening months later after I started going through my spiritual awakening, if I remember correctly. And, um, but what happened was, uh, I was scared to ever tell anyone that I was going to a spiritual awakening because I thought I would get judged. People wouldn't understand what I was going through. I think uh, people who go through spiritual awakening experience that. They feel alone. They feel like people wouldn't understand what they are going through. And I did too. I remember one day um, not being able to sleep and my father asked me why couldn't I fall asleep. I told him uh, my crown chakra was being opened and he started laughing telling me that people there are so many people who would love to have their crown chakra opened and you aren't special. I felt like uh, such a fool were thinking that I was special and I was experiencing spiritual awakening and that's when I started thinking maybe I shouldn't talk about my spiritual awakening process with anyone else um it, this was hard for me to talk about my first spiritual awakening process but my guides were insistent about me making a video on my first spiritual awakening so here am I making up the video for you guys so yeah, it was hard for me, a lot hard than I thought. I felt like I was stuck inside a tunnel and I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But now I understand why I had to go through those processes. Because you have to go through the hard days before you can get to see the sunlight at the end of the tunnel. And if you guys are experiencing the same things that I went through and experiencing spiritual awakening, and just understand that not many people are going to understand what you're going through and they may even make fun of you for that but always remember that you understand what you're going through if you experience uh, psychic abilities like clairvoyance clairaudience class sentience any of those sorts just understand that not many people are going to be supportive of you or understand what you're going through um, so yeah it was hard for me to ever talk about my spiritual awakening with other people I never talked about it with anyone else and um, so yeah 
uh, another thing was uh, I so slowly started coming uh, um, coming into my own and I understood that I had cyclic abilities like clairvoyance, clairsentience and clairaudience etc. Uh, it didn't um, start emerging in a single day, it slowly started developing and what else? The major reason that I quit high school to be quite honest with you guys was because my guides insisted that uh, I have to prove that people who have uh, people who do not have a background or come from a normal background can also achieve things in this lifetime people shouldn't be judged based on what they have studied or what type of uh, background they come from and that was the major reason that I quit high school my guides wanted me to prove that people who do not have um, do not have money or do not come from a wealthy background or do not have uh, such um, astounding academic uh, records basically can also achieve things in life and that is my main uh, that is my main purpose in life in this lifetime and uh, that was the reason why i quit high school Many people would think I'm so crazy, I'm so stupid for doing this. But I understand that not many people are going to understand that. And I'm fine with that. Um, I actually came uh, to this understanding and enlightenment uh, when I was probably around uh, in my early 20s. Um, my guides, uh, one day I was watching a tarot video basically. And uh, at the reading the video was something about i don't remember i think it was about this whole mission or something and that's when i uh, this message was given to me that i was supposed to achieve something and leave behind a legacy of sorts especially with my uh, family and linked to my family name i didn't understand it and i actually thought probably i was hearing things uh then uh, uh, recently i mean recently i came across a um, numerological method called the matrix of destiny uh, you guys can google it or uh, do a youtube search to understand what that means but i came across the karmic tale which is part of the matrix of destiny and i understood that my guides were being truthful with me and they weren't lying to my face yeah, it's kind of hard, you know, to quit high school, throw away your entire life under the bridge and hope that all <laughs> goes well. So, yeah. Um, and I understand that I was meant to be leave behind a legacy in my family. That people who do not have astounding academic records, or do not have many PhDs or any type of uh, uh, educational qualifications, basically, I have to say, can also achieve in life and that is my main sole mission if I have to talk about it and if I can do that and I can achieve my sole mission I think you guys can too believe in yourself always I think the main message here is believe in yourself when people think that you can't achieve people say that you aren't worthy people say you aren't uh, uh, to be loved people mean uh, mean can be mean sometimes just understand that they are coming from a place of lower vibrational energies or they are afraid to step out of their comfort zone and they are projecting their own fears onto you. So don't let their fears stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. That's an important thing to always understand. And many people would be wondering why should we listen to you? You haven't achieved many things or you haven't become successful yet. People will say whatever they want to say. But my guides asked me to make this video, so here am I making a video about my main soul mission and uh, talking about it. it. It is one of the main soul missions that I was meant to do in this lifetime and I'm quite proud of it and I'm proud to have my ancestors, my soul family and my um, guides backing me up in this. I don't think I could have done this without them. They have been an immense support to me. They have loved me through my worst and they have loved me through my best. And I think it's important to have people who love you for who you are even when you're going through your worst, even when you don't believe in yourself. And that's important. So if you guys are going through a spiritual awakening where you're seeing 11, 11, 12, 12 and people 
who are supposed to be your friend and family do not support you and you feel like they do not understand what you're going through your psychic abilities are emerging and you don't understand what it means just understand that you need to be patient with yourself i didn't figure out what i was supposed to do in the beginning of my spiritual journey or my spiritual process it took me years to understand that it might take you years to understand too and i hope you guys have a wonderful spiritual journey ahead keep raising the vibration do not ever let anyone tell you how much you are worth because you are worth more than that so always remember that believe in yourself and go for the goals that you have if anyone says you can't do that don't listen to them you know what you are worth so go after those goals and achieve them and show them that you are worthy of it and you can achieve it thank you guys for watching I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are.